happy Friday everyone. Happy Friday foursome day, if you will. It's Friday foursome time. It's the beginning of July. So let's crack on with a foursome, shall we? Because we all like we always like to crack out a foursome at the beginning of the month. It's always uh, puts you in good stead. Puts me in good stead anyway. So the last foursome, which was about gaming music, which is about your most evocative gaming tunes, four of them. Bit of a disappointing response, to be honest. I thought I was expecting yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit more vigour. Uh, but there you go. Those are the breaks, I guess. Um, so we got uh, six responses. And those six responses were from Major Yellow Belly Sir. Thank you very much, Sir, for re-entering the foursome. Reinserting himself, as you could say. Down the rabbit hole, again, uh, stalwart for this year's foursome, it seems. Loves a bit of foursome. Wee Bob as well, former winner. Uh, Mainmeister, Alan, cheers, mate. Thank you. Welcome to the foursome. Welcome back to the foursome, I should have say. The Crow Continuum, of course, ever faithful is Crow. And Retro Unlim. Steve, we got you out of hiding and he made a video. He made an original video which wasn't using other people's footage. Great. I'm only joking, Steve. Thank you very much, everyone, for your responses. Some great choices of music. I uh, really enjoyed watching them all. I think the winner has to go to the person that um, I think he put most... Uh, um, the, 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 the explanation behind the tunes and the different style of from different eras of tunes is really good and two of them particularly I, I would, if I would have thought of on the day I would have thought shit they're really good as well and that's probably sort of evocative for me uh, and you know you pick the likes of Mute City theme from F-Zero and of course the Corneria theme from Star Fox which is iconic absolutely iconic um, so uh, yeah Crow Continuum well done sir thank you very much Crow Continuum you are the man you are the winner of this month's foursome or last month's foursome if you will so let's move on to the subject matter in hand for July 2020. So uh, I was looking back through the old foursome episodes and uh, I thought I'd want to make it a little bit more straightforward, more of a direct, simple question this time. I think I'll ask a couple of the other questions from before have been a little bit specific, a little bit too niche. So I think something a little bit more widespread. So hopefully it's very approachable to a lot of people. Now, I was looking through the, like I said, looking through the previous foursome episodes, and we've done racing games, we've done fighting games, and we've done sports games. We've never done shoot 'em ups. So that's it. Simple. Four favourite shoot 'em ups. Any platform, any time frame, any type of shoot 'em up. It could be a ground based shoot 'em up, say commando style, it could be a vertical or a horizontal style shoot 'em up, or even an isometric, such as, say, viewpoint or um, highway encounter or something like that so my four picks for my four best favorite ish of ever all time 100% shoot em ups <laughs> stretch that one out didn't I? first one would be twin cobra on the arcade now I remember playing this way back when it's one of the one of the arcades that I used to play quite a lot and then years down the line I could never remember the title of it all I remember it was it was a helicopter shooting game that was double hard but really good and the music was so memorable and uh, it finally dawned on me it was Twin Cobra which is technically the spiritual sequel to Tiger Heli and I think on the PC Engine Turbo Graphics version it's actually T Twin Cobra is actually called Tiger Heli which is a bit confusing because it's not actually Tiger Heli but it means the same thing probably uh, but it's a great shoot em up it's really fast really frantic it's a typical from that era kind of shoot em up and um, Spawned a sequel, which, you know, Twin Cobra 2, not as good. Uh, I think out of the three games in that series, the, the Twin Cobra was probably my favourite and certainly my certainly best. Uh, my second choice would be UN Squadron, but specifically the one on the Super Nintendo. Uh, because the one on the Super Nintendo, uh, I think, is actually superior to, to the original. I think it's superior to the arcade version in, in many different ways. I, I think it, it, it's expanded. You can choose your mission, for instance. Uh, you've got that going on. Uh, the, le the, the selection of planes is wider. The selection of weapons is wider, I believe, as well. And I just think it's much a much more polished game than even the arcade version. I think graphically it's actually better as well. Uh, and certainly, I think even the music I think is better. I think it's, it's a, the Super Nintendo version is probably the Super Nintendo could struggle with shoot 'em up sometimes. Um, uh, Super R type. And a degree of slowdown going on uh, occasionally, well, quite often actually. Uh, so it, it could struggle sometimes because it had a slight, it had a slow process in the Mega Drive, didn't it? 
so I couldn't, you know, get to program it for correctly if you're going to do a decent, really good shoot map. And um, UN Squadron is brilliant. It does have bits of slowdown here and there, but it doesn't take away from the graphical prowess of the game, its look, its style, its sound. Very iconic Capcom shooter. My third choice. Now, I'm going to choose an R-Type. Obviously, I'm going to choose an R-Type, but not the R-Type you think I would choose. I've already mentioned Super R-Type. Um, very, very tempted to, to, to pick R-Type 1. It's a fantastic game. It is one of my favourite all-time games, uh, and it is one of my all-time shoot maps. but there is a one version of R-Type I think is superior and much more enjoyable to play, and that's the arcade-only R-Type Leo. And I think that is a brilliant, brilliant twist on the concept of uh, R-Type. It's slightly different gameplay, different mechanics, but the, the feeling is there, the world is the same. You're immersed in the same sort of evil Baidu world with, with, with a similar sort of level of tech, but it's because it's supposed to be a prequel in the storyline of R-Type. I think it works really, really well and plays so good, and the music on it. Um, all R-Types have great music, but R-Type Leo's music is particularly exquisite. I love it. And I think a lot of uh, everybody that I've ever met that have played R Type Leo, they actually go, shit, that is that good. Why the hell it didn't get any home ports, I don't know. I really would love to see some home ports done of R Type Leo. A sharp version, maybe, Amiga Homebrew, um, any system that a Super Nintendo Mega Drive, they both could do it justice. Even an Amstrad, I'd love to see an Amstrad version to see what it, just, what it would come out like. Uh, my final. Pick. This is a tough one to actually choose um, because I was torn between a few. Um, but because of the amusement factor alone, and I love the cartoony aspect of it, um, and the fact that it takes the piss out of Radius Nemesis, and that's Parodius. And I think Parodius is um, it's a really f it just it's it's so daft. It's unbelievably daft. You know, you have got the, the dancing girl thing, and you've got to sort of like dodge bet in between her legs and stuff. It's nuts. Pirate cat ships and stuff. It's off the charts bizarre, and that's why I love it. It's utterly bizarre, uh, but it's really it's funny as well. There's plenty of ship options you can choose as well. It's a tough game. It's it's not a di it's not a hard game. It's, it's, sorry, it's not a diff. Oh, it is a difficult game. It's not an easy game. That's what I'm supposed to say. See, I'm even get it's even get me words wrong. I'm parodying myself. Um, but yeah, Parodius, Parodius Da, sometimes known as, it's got many different titles, it's predominantly known in Japan more favourably, but it's, a, it's just a terrific, terrific game, and uh, yeah, one of my personal favourites. So, there's my four top shoot 'em ups um, yeah, two of them, uh, well one of them, one of them is a horizontal, uh, or three of them are horizontal, and one of them is vertical, but you... It's now down to you. you. Pick what you want. And there's tons to pick from. You've got the, the, the Sleeko ones, you've got Cave shooters, you've got Capcom shooters, you've got SNK. There's many, 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 many to pick from. Namco, of course, as well. 100 Sega. Um, there's tons of uh, stuff to pick from on the art, on the, on the shoot 'em up uh, genre. So please tell me your favourite four shoot 'em ups. Like I said, any anything from the shoot 'em up genre you wish. I look forward to seeing your responses. Please let me know. Either post uh, a link in my Discord or drop me a link on Twitter or, or on Parlor now as well. You can drop me a link on Parlor as well. That link's down in the description. Uh, so you've got multiple ways to contact me to tell me that you have made a response and I will link your video in the description box of this very video. Thank you everyone for watching the Friday Foursome. I do hope you enjoyed this foursome more than you did for the last. I think I've set the table uh, a little bit more. I've set the table with more like burgers and salads and stuff. More, more people to come in and gorge on that foursome. Thank you for watching. Novabug out. Hey, Novabug here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by liking and commenting and of course subscribing if you haven't already done. If you would like to support me further, please consider joining my bug army via Patreon. And also don't forget to follow me over at Facebook, Twitter, BitChute and Twitch. And a salute to my bug army generals Sam M, Sweet Nanak, Pete Walker and Craig Harrison. Thank you everyone for supporting me. Nova Bug, out.